What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna look at variables in Dart. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna look at variables in Dart, but before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books, one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at variables in Dart. And variables in Dart are very easy, but there's a few things you need to know, and that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So, Dart is more like a C type programming language. So, a lot of the C type conventions hold true in Dart, just like in Go, we've been looking at recently. So you're gonna usually use camel case to name your variables. There's a couple of things, they can't start with numbers, they can't use special characters except for the underscore and the dollar sign. And that's pretty much it, you can't use keywords, right? Same as all programming languages. So to use a variable in Dart, you have to first declare it. And there are many different ways you can declare variables in Dart. So let's just kind of start out with strings here. So one way to do it is to use the var keyword, and that's short for variable, right? So var and then just name your variable and then set it equal to whatever. You can also be very specific. Instead of using the var keyword, you could declare what kind of data type this is gonna be. So if we know this is gonna be a string, we could also go string name John. That works as well. If we know it's gonna be an integer, same thing holds true. We could var x and set that equal to 41, or we could be explicit and say int x equals 41. All right, so if we wanted to comment this out, and give this a try, we could just come down here and print X. Remember all of our statements have to end in semicolons and Dart. And let's also comment this guy out. Now if we head over to our terminal, I'm in my C Dart stuff directory. If we were on Dart vars.dart, we get 41. Likewise, we can uncomment this guy out and comment this guy out. Run this guy again, we're gonna get the same thing. It's 41, right? There's also something called a dynamic, right? So if you're not sure what the data type is and you don't wanna use the var keyword, you can use the dynamic keyword. And same deal, you know, we could say, I don't know, first name, set that equal to Tim, whatever. So generally I just stick with var, but dynamic is a thing and well, there you go. Finally, we have something called constants and finals. Now constants are keywords that you're never gonna change, right? You set them once, and they just, they can't be changed. They just are what they are. And final is the same thing, it's just slightly different. So if we go const and final, we could set one up for const like this, with the const keyword, and then, you know, same deal, same things, we could use string or, or not. Uh, and we could say, uh, I don't know, full name equals John Elder. Likewise, we could use the final keyword. And again, we could call a string and uh, I don't know, nickname equals J, right, whatever. So what's the difference between a constant and a final? Well, it's a little complicated. Consts are, if you know what it's gonna be at compile time, use a const. If you know what it's gonna be at runtime, use a final. So think of like, I don't know, a date or something. When the program runs, the date is gonna be different every time you run it. Well, in that case, use a final because you're gonna, the date's gonna change. If the date is never gonna change and you just want the date that's gonna be when you compile the program, use the const. That's a sort of, not a complete answer, but it's good enough for now, the difference between const and final, and that's all there is to it. So variables, again, very simple. You're usually just gonna use the var keyword. Again, you don't have to use the data type in here. Dart will imply it, but you know, it's always best practices to use the data type if you know it. You're not sure what it's gonna be, you can use a dynamic. Uh, finally, one last thing, declaring and not using. So we can go var my name and then just not assign anything to it. And down here, if we wanted to print out my name, but we can come down here and run this guy again and we'll see it's gonna return null. So, you know, the variable doesn't have anything assigned to it. It's just null, it's not anything, right? So that's kind of handy for a lot of different things. You can assign something to it later on if you wanted to. You know, we could come down here afterwards and say, you know, my name equals John. Come up here, copy this guy, print it in a second time. The first time it'll be null, the second time it'll be John because we changed it. And we see that here, null and John. So those are variables in Dart, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And that's all there is to it. 
So if that's all for this video, if you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.